So I'm going to start with a little Prabhupada story that involves Pushkar, who's usually here, but I don't see him. It's okay, we won't embarrass him, he doesn't have to be here, but it's a great Prabhupada story. So Pushkar said, I decided to go on the balcony of the guest house in Vrindavan and paint trees and landscapes. I wasn't specifically thinking of Krishna. After I painted the trees, I decided Krishna has to be here. So I painted him and some cowherd boys in as an afterthought. I thought the painting was okay, and when I finally got an appointment with Prabhupada, I showed him the painting. He looked at it for so long, and I started to get nervous. Finally, he said, what is the idea? What verse does it illustrate? I felt dumb. I was speechless. I had memorized hundreds of verses, yet I couldn't say anything. I said, well, Prabhupada, Krishna's playing his flute on the banks of the Yamuna, and there are some boys. Again, he said to me, what's the idea? I said, Krishna's pastimes are unlimited. Imagine saying that to Prabhupada. He said, yes, Krishna's pastimes are unlimited, but you are limited. Stick to the book. Somehow or other, he didn't like that painting. I knew I'd been sentenced, but I didn't know for how long. So I said, can this picture ever be used in the books? He didn't say it couldn't, but he didn't commit to anything either. Srila Prabhupada, keep dying. <laughs> Stick to the books. All right, today, Saturday, is the festival uh, one day for Ukraine. So this was the brainchild of some Ukrainian devotees who are you know, in our community. And they wanted to just bring awareness to the situation for our devotees in Ukraine because you know there are thousands and thousands of devotees in that country. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. And um, of course, they've all been displaced for the most part. So it's very, when you're in communication with those devotees, those families, you really start to get an emotional attachment to them. So they wanted to do something they felt kind of helpless here. So they created this festival. They've invited some Ukrainian uh, religious leaders from or, who have churches and things around Florida to come. Anutama Prabhu has come because, you know, he runs the whole PR for ISKCON. And so this is a good opportunity to show that the Hare Krishna people are also compassionate for situations all over the world. So um, we also have Sharanagadi Devi Dasi is with us. I think she's staying at Mahamaya's and she is a, a peace uh, representative at the United Nations. So she'll be here and she'll be speaking later this afternoon. There'll be entertainment. I think they're bringing in some Ukrainian kind of folk dancing or folk music and they'll be playing on the little stage they're setting up on the tent over there. Uh, there'll be a silent auction. I'm not sure what items will be there, but I, they, they got some crafts and the children at Banna have done some artwork and those things will be at the silent auction. And these are ways to raise funds so this money can be sent to the temples because um, what's happening is like there's a big temple called New Mayapur uh, in Ukraine and they've taken in hundreds of devotee refugees. So we're trying to you know, offer them some support also. So this is uh, their way of, of trying to do this and just bring awareness to the situation. So it's, um, oh, let's see, this is her, this is the schedule here. So let me tell you what the things that are happening. If I can open it, okay. So the opening ceremony is at 11. Then we're gonna have a tree of peace planting. I guess that's sort of a traditional thing you do at these occasions. So we, we remember we used to have a live oak over there by the pavilion and we missed it for a long time until we forgot all about it. But now it's like time to plant a tree, so I thought we'll plant a live oak so that the next generations of devotees here will have the shade from that tree. So that's happening at 11. And then the City of Gainesville Commissioner Harvey Ward will be here at 11.30 and he'll speak. Then there's some live music from 11.45 to 12. Um, international Peace Music, that's by Chaitanya Veda and Radha. So Kirtan is International Peace Music. Uh, the Mayor of Alachua, is going to speak at 12. And um, then there's U live Ukrainian folk music, which should be very nice from 1215 uh, on the uh, stage over there. Then there's the silent auction. And um, I, I'm going to announce it, although I have no idea what they're offering, but I'll find out. And we're also doing from 12 to 2 uh, the rides over to the eco farm. So people who are visiting us who don't know us or your own children can come and ride on the a tractor, you know, over to the eco farm and learn about what's going on over there. The Ukrainian refugees are going to speak today also. There are some families coming, stories of survival, and that's at 110. And then um, there's the Blue Indigo Band playing at 140. 
and more Ukrainian folk music at 2 p.m. And then we'll announce the silent auction winners. So come and see what's for the silent auction. This is a fundraiser, and you know, you just have to look at the items and put your name and your bid down. It's very, um, you know, not aggressive. It's an easy way to, to do an auction. And then um, Sharon Agati is going to speak, I think, at three, and more folk music, and then it'll wind up at four, I guess. So come between 11 and four and take part, and just, and there'll be very nice food booths, uh, you know, um, traditional foods, as well as dosas and pizza and things like that. So it's a good place to come and have your lunch today as well. And the children's activities. There's children activity, a bouncy thingy over there and stuff for the children. Yes, thank you. Also happening. Okay, now let me just tell you that that's not the only thing going on at New Raman Reiti. Tomorrow is the first day of Kartik. So we will start uh, the first, uh, I guess we'll have Damodar Asta come in the morning. Yes, we will. And then we'll have it again at, um, because it's Sunday, we'll do it at 4.45 p.m. And so we have the Kirtan 4.15 till 4.45. Then the Kirtan ends and Damodar Asta come begin, so we'll chant the prayers and everyone can come offer their candles, and then the Sunday feast will proceed as normal 5 p.m. lecture. So um, that's how Sundays will go. Every other day is the, the Dhammadarastakam chanting in the morning, Guru Puja 7.20, and then Dhammadarastakam about 7.30. You come in the morning to offer the ghee lights, and if you can't make the morning 6.30, we'll also have the ghee lights available and someone to chant Dhammadarastakam also. Every evening, 8 p.m. is the Gita Govinda will be chanted in the temple room. So you can tune it in online or you can come over and join in. And then we'll talk more about what's going on uh, tomorrow at the Sunday feast. Okay, so here are the devotees who assisted their spiritual master dressing the deities today. Shishi Radhasham Sundar, Ruchira Devi Dasi, Chota Radhasham Sundar, Leela Devi Dasi, Sri Sri Gornatai, Raghunath Das, Chota Krishna... Sorry, Sri Sri Krishna Balaram Raghunath Das, Chota Krishna Balaram Kunja Biharini Devi Dasi, Sri Sri Gornatai Govinda Mohini Devi Dasi, Chota Gornatai Dear Lalita Das, Gurus and Lord Nishingade Parampara Das, and we are so happy to have Anutama Prabhu visiting us. He took time out of his busy schedule to come to this little part of the world. Thank you so much, and he's giving class today. And tomorrow feast and Monday morning. We cannot get enough of him. <laughs> <laughs>